Alistair Crane. What do you want? I'm here to discuss the case you just heard. There's nothing to discuss. Reaching a verdict will be easy. Indeed, it will be. If you do exactly as I say. Mr. Crane, I don't understand. You will in a moment. You've just heard the case of Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald versus Ivy Crane? That's correct. Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald claims that she's the legal wife to Julian Crane. So she feels she's entitled to my family's fortune, correct? That's right. I was just about to make my decision on the case. That's why I'm here. This decision is too important to be left to chance. Chance? I'm making the judgment on its merit. No. No, you will judge the case on my requirements. I want you to hand down the ruling I choose. I will be the one to decide this case. Mr. Crane, with all due respect, I can't allow you to influence my ruling in this case. I have to render a judgment based upon what I feel to be just and fair. That's a very pretty speech, but a little hypocritical, don't you think? I don't understand, Mr. Crane. You didn't give a damn about justice when I put you on the bench, did you? When you didn't have enough votes to be elected? Mr. Crane, I've tried to do a good job here. And you'll continue to do a good job, just as long as you do as I say. Otherwise, I might have to institute a recount. And I might have to slip it to the press that you rigged the ballots to make it look as if you won. I believe that's considered a felony, am I right? Yes. Fine. Just so we understand each other. You don't have to threaten me, Mr. Crane. I know the verdict that you want, and I will give it to you. Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald has lost. She will get none of your fortune. She'll get nothing.